Good morning, and good morning. Abby, staying away from these. I have been yeah. having. I have to tell you, I did not think that I would be nervous having this cage beside me this mm -hmm. morning. It's made me a little nervous. I gotta. I gotta tell you the truth here. Well, okay. well, well, tell it's us okay. what, what's inside. What's inside? Uh, today we're going to be talking about leopard geckos, and the reason why I was kind of. Uh, struggling on what to talk about is one it's summertime and there's a lot of parents that go out with their kids to either like say the zoo mm -hmm. or to various pet stores and unfortunately these parents are just tortured by the simple word of can i <laughs> and dave i'm sure you probably <laughs> yeah. know that can i this can i that four year old yeah. exactly just say so. no parents just say no <laughs> just say no so basically we're going to be uh, doing a, just a brief overall of what are leopard geckos and so forth, their habitat, and how to take care of them. Now, these are something that people can buy around here from local pet stores, and, and right. you can get these and have these as a pet, right? Right. Okay. Right. Right. Um, the big thing that a lot of people don't realize is how long these guys actually live. They can actually live anywhere from about 10 to 20 years. So if you are a parent and your kid is also bothering you about, can I have a leopard gecko and so forth, they need to take in consideration that, that they're taking it to college with them. They may be taking <laughs> it to college with them, exactly. <laughs> it's going to be there on their wedding day. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But for the most part, as a pet, they're pretty low maintenance. Uh, basically, all you really have to do is just occasionally clean out the uh, sand in here. They mostly will eat crickets. Uh, a couple of times during the day. Some leopard geckos will eat maybe only every other day, maybe sometimes three days. There are other leopard geckos that will just, you know, they're just flat out pigs. They'll eat all the time. Now, can the, as, um, can the kids get these out and play with them? I mean, is this something like a pet that you can have That's on your lap? What, that was my question. Why would mm -hmm. someone want one of these things? Well, yeah. It's different. It's exotic, sure. And it's a pet. So. I guess, because I'm looking at it from a mom's point, I guess, or from a lady's <laughs> point of view. I would not want one, one of these things to get loose and be running around my house. But they're, they're not going to hurt no, you. No, they're not going to hurt you. I okay. mean, they're, they're completely harmless. Uh, they're not poisonous or anything like oh, okay. that. Right, so. Good. Uh, but I definitely would not recommend, you know, having them running around the house or anything like that. I'm sure they're very fast if they do get out. They're very fast. They also have a defensive mechanism. Now, you could probably take a look at these tails right here. They're really mm -hmm. thick and they're fat. And basically what they do is they store fat in there. But these tails are actually detachable. So when they're in the wild, sweet. if cool. they are being attacked, if someone goes after the tail, the tail will snap off like that. And they will actually will get a little bit more quicker and are able to escape really fast. Well, the other animal may go after that tail that they see. Kind of like the salamanders. Right. I was asking about those in the yards where they have the blue. I've seen those lose their tails uh, right. when, when, when the cat goes after them. Uh, uh, regardless, uh, wow, wow. And what do they eat again? They're going to be mostly eating crickets and mealworms. And if you want some more information, I sent a link up there if someone is interested okay. in getting leopard geckos. Sure. And uh, if you don't remember what the link is, you could always go to the crazy Facebook page, uh, Greg the Pet Guy on Facebook, and I'll have uh, links for you if you're interested in researching more about leopard geckos. Now, how many do you have in this tank here? Uh, right now, we've just got two. They're both males, um, and you can is definitely tell which who's a female and who's a male by looking on their underside. Okay. okay. Now, you've got two in this one tank. How big right. is that tank, and is that sufficient enough for two geckos? Uh, I'm thinking this is maybe a 10-gallon tank. Um, the recommendation is supposed to be one gecko per 10-gallon tank. If you want to, say, get a larger tank, you could have more geckos in there. Sure. But for the most part, uh, these two guys have been with each other for since they're babies, so they're okay. So they're okay together. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Wonderful. And again, if we need to get a hold and want some information, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, you can either call the Honey Creek Animal Hospital. That phone number is 234-7752, or you can go on Facebook and look up Greg the Pet Guy. All right. Very good. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. I love you, but I'm glad you're leaving. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, this really was interesting for people who are very interested in, yeah. in, in reptiles. Yeah, well, thank you. But I'm glad that's going to leave the desk now. No birthday present for you. No, for no I'll go, too. That's all right. Yeah. I'll leave, too. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. As you